Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're waiting on it, we're expecting it, but it has not yet arrived. Where is the Black Friday market crash? We have literally seen like zero selling on this market, zero panic on this market this week. And I wanna talk about again why that is happening. EA just seems to be doing nothing this week of content, right? I'm gonna show you some tweets, talk about some things, and some new pack code that was added that might be related to Black Friday or content that could be coming in this next week. But right now on the market, there's literally no fear, there is no panic, there is literally no preparation from the game as a whole. Still, as we are nearing into one week away from when Black Friday will actually start, right? And it's, it seems a little bit crazy, right? Because in prior years, we started to see the market drop off weeks ahead of time. Last year, it was like two to almost three weeks ahead of time, we started to see the market drop off for Black Friday. Now, of course, this year, the market is down so much already that it doesn't look like, it doesn't feel like the market has too much more to crash, but still, with the insane content, I think a lot of people forget how nuts the content was last year at Black Friday. And we're gonna look at that, especially as we get into this weekend, as we prepare for next week. The content last year, if they replicate that for this year on Black Friday with the pack weight and with everything that this, this game has, it's different with the market. This, this market's literally gonna be done for. So I'm not trying to cause panic again. We talked about it earlier in the week, but Black Friday is a huge promo. I also have some other points I wanna talk about as to why the market really hasn't dropped that much yet. And as we get into the re rewards time frame today, Division Rivals rewards coming out today, of course. Wow, that was a crazy little bit on Cordoba. I watched that and, mi and missed it. Um, but I'm trying to get some cards before Division Rivals rewards come out here in about, about two hours, three hours. Actually, it's about four from when I'm recording this. I can't do math. Um, but I'm trying to find some cards on the cheap, right? And I think there's a lot of people investing investing tonight for a, re a rewards rise. And I think the market's actually going to rise less than what we expected, right? Because we had a huge rivals rewards market rise last week, but that was because last week was a crazy week. And this week it's quiet. Content is few and far between on this game. And I think that is why people are tweeting things like this. I want to talk about a tweet here shouted by Nepenthes, right? He says earlier yesterday, at least for a big portion of the foot community, um, foot is in a dire state content wise. I know EA have no incentive to do much more or better since they make so much from the game, but holy, does this name game need to rebuild from the bottom up. Now I'm going to come at this from two different ways. The first way I'm going to come at it from is, uh, yes, this week has been a lot slower in terms of content, in terms of the player that is in packs, the SBCs, the objective content. I mean, Bergwine's a really solid objective, in my opinion, is a super sub, at least really easy to do. But as a whole, content this pack past week has been very, very quiet, right? But here's the other side of the coin. We literally just came out of a week two weeks ago with the base icon SBC preview packs every other day, including 50 K 81 to 86 and 25,000 coin preview packs during the rule breakers promo of week two, where these cards, uh, we were getting like player SBCs almost every single day, right? We have had basically two polar opposite weeks on this game. And this, the other way that I'm kind of looking at this is we are expecting this much from EA all the time. And again, we talked about it this week too. We can't expect the elitist tier of content all the time on this game. They have to make it swing up and down, especially to keep people involved. People aren't gonna be involved all the time if they're continually pushing out elite level content because then people are gonna want more, right? People are gonna find ways to want more. So if they kind of disappoint people just a little bit, just for enough time like this week, right? Where not as many people maybe are getting on the game. People aren't feeling the Black Friday hype yet because of what happened last week they're pulling it back this week and then they're going to boom, bring it out next week with Black Friday. It's going to be insane again. Um, but so those are the two ways you can kind of look at it. The way I'm choosing to look at it again is kind of from the first way, right? Where yes, this content is down and it's not as big and it's not as crazy, but it's also a nice breather, right? I mean, we don't have to worry about losing 20% on our teams every single day on this game. And that I think is why, that I think is why right now on this game, the market is not preparing for Black Friday at all. And that's why you're not seeing people sell and panic and everything like that. Now that is going to come again. I know you're like, Nate, is it ever going to happen? Yes, it is going to happen. Just because again, when we start looking and remembering at what Black Friday was last year, unbelievable, insane amounts of content with players in packs, SBCs every hour. The supply was disgusting last year. Just if you remember this, 
250,000 lightning rounds. 250,000 packs were put in the store for the 100,000 coin lightning round, sold out in minutes, right? 250,000 100K packs to this market would, would destroy it, man. So I don't even want to think about that yet. Yes, there is going to be panic, all right? Just sit tight. This is the, this is the appetizer. Um, this weekend, whatever content we're have is going to have going to be the appetizer to Black Friday, and that's going to be the main course, and it's going to be disgusting and it's crazy and wild. So just buckle your seatbelts, right? I think we also have our first preparation for Black Friday from EA Sports. They're throwing a couple packs in the code: a one times current team of the week pack and a double eighty one plus pack. The reason why I think this is for Black Friday is because literally last year both of these packs were available as a part of the black friday promo we had best of team of the week and team of the week 10 that were released in the game you could pack both of those items from this current team of the week pack and then also last year there was an 81 plus double that was released uh, as well so i don't know if this is going to come out today i wouldn't expect it to uh, on thursday or even friday tomorrow it could it could be coming out but i also think this might be something that they just put out in the game uh, they've done this before. This could be it not in the game until next week, or this could also be released this weekend as like a team of the week pack that is released for like 15 days. If you if you guys have rem remembered, sometimes they've done this where they put out a team of the week pack repeatable ahead of time, and then that pack is basically like out for two weeks, and then it's out during the life of a promotion. So if there's going to be a lot of player SBCs, they're going to require informs and stuff like that. There's always a little bit of, I guess you could say, an SBC there to craft. And right, there's upgrade packs that will be out there to craft as well. And 81 plus double, that's pretty interesting. That is really interesting with the pack weight this year in this game. That's kind of that. That's the kind of pack right there that some people will do hundreds of and stack for team of the year as well so we'll see when these get released but that to me looks like black friday preparation and ea is putting out some stuff for black friday but again just a little bit more about the market i still think that you're going to start to see prices slide off this weekend because that's going to be when a lot of people start to say hey all right now we're getting a week away from black friday now it's going to be the time where uh, you can probably cash out on some of the cards from your team and start to look into running more of an untradeable squad until uh, you know, later on in this next week as we get towards Black Friday. A couple other things about the market this year, which may explain why we haven't seen like huge levels of panic selling yet. We already had a big market drop off literally uh, two weeks ago with the uh, incredible insane week with preview packs and with the base icon SBC that already dropped off the market a little bit. And I think that is also to blame uh, since prices have already dropped off a decent amount. That was kind of like our pre-crash in a sense uh, because a lot of prices had dropped off. But that was more of like supply and not as much panic selling except for the base icon. I think that was part of our crash this year. It just was disguised as like content and not just purely panic selling as it was in years before. I just think that gameplay has more demand as well. With the way that they've structured rivals and the, the qualification, right now everybody every single week has to get their seven rivals wins right i've picked up my seven rivals wins i got my reward upgrade i'm getting rewards and actually after the stream yesterday i was feeling motivated to go play champs qualifications went five and oh and boom we are in champs finals just like that so every single week people are doing their rivals games to get their seven wins to get that reward upgrade because people love rewards in this game then they try and they go play champions qualifications uh, and get some more rewards from that. So just the way the gameplay is like laid out this year. And I think the casual is having more enjoyment from gameplay this year. I know some of you guys might disagree. Uh, I'm very curious to see like specific EA numbers get released. I know they tweeted out some numbers uh, from like the first month of the game. I would love to see more of those numbers as we head out th uh, head throughout the second month of FIFA to see how many games are played in the, you know, just how people are interacting with the game and stuff like that. But I just think there's a bit more gameplay demand. And also, if you think about it as well, the way that EA is training people to think on FIFA nowadays, EA wants us to panic sell, right? You think about the preview packs that we have seen, the prices that we have seen drop. Uh, EA wants you to get used to selling your team at a moment's notice. And since people have actually gotten used to that this year, I think that is why you're seeing less sell-off right now because people feel like, okay, I've got a little bit of time before I have to start quote-unquote panicking, if you will, uh, because right now uh, they're used to selling their cars literally 
at a moment's notice when people are saying, OMG, the market's going to crash because of preview packs and because of the content that EA is releasing this year. So in my opinion, that is why we have not seen the crash yet. But again, it is going to be coming. Now, speaking of the market right now, since it has been so dead this week and so quiet, a lot of people get bored. And when people get bored on FIFA, what do they do? They invest. They don't invest because they want to make coins. They invest because they're bored. I mean, take a look at some of these cards tonight heading into rewards. Some of these Adidas cards got sold off, but they've bounced back. Gold cards uh, have started to actually go up in price before Division Rivals rewards. Take a look at Hyunmin's son. He was 80,000 coins at the content drop yesterday. Right now, my guy is 85,000 coins. I was hoping for prices to drop lower tonight on this game uh, to potentially get involved with some, you know, either Team of the Week cards or, um, you know, some some cards on this game that I could flip after rewards. And as I'm looking at a lot of prices right now, I really don't like a, a lot of prices that are on this market. A lot of stuff is just up. It is just up because I really, truly think people have started to invest. Some of these Adidas cards, uh, you know, I definitely missed out on Di Maria. I was kind of tracking his price, hoping that he would hit about 260. He went down to 275. Boom, he's back up at 290, 285 right now at the moment. Uh, Jota was down at 460, I think was his absolute lowest. And right now, Jota is back up into the 480s, 490s. It just looks like people have started to invest in some of these items, which makes me actually like buying these cards for a flip after rewards less. Militao is right now, what is he, 420? 425 right now on this market, that is up, right? Regulon was like 59,000 coins and he is up to like 62K. I wanted to snag one of these for the team. If I could get one at like under 60K, I would do that. But again, you look at his price right now, 63K uh, just sitting on the market. So I think a lot of people have invested in these cards. They'll get supplied a little bit at rewards today, um, but I still would expect them, uh, you know, a slight rise after rewards. But since seeing a lot of people actually buy up these items, does not make me want to get involved with them right now on this market that much. You know, especially today with the marquee matchups, if these cards are truly overinvested, what you're going to see is these cards are not going to rise that much. And then everybody who invested in them is going to sell them before marquee matchups, fearing more supply. And these cards are going to drop lower after 6 p.m. today on Thursday. So if you're buying any of these for a quick flip, like I, you know, Jota was a good looking uh, buy. See that Ter Stegen, insta bought at 70K. That's the sign, especially right now in the late night portion of the market, that people are investing in these cards. Uh, it, it just looks like a lot of people are out buying. So if I'm trying to make some buys before rewards, I'm, I'm not even looking at gold cards that much right now because a lot of these guys are seriously just up. Unless I'm going to try to snag some of these on bid. You know, I was hoping to get Sadio Mane at 130,000 coins. And, you know, we, we might be able to snag a Sadio at 130. Uh, maybe maybe on a bid or something like that. And hopefully he could go up to above 140 tomorrow after rewards. But a lot of these cards seriously look like they're just getting uh, bought up. A lot of people are looking at Serie A stuff. Teo Hernandez, uh, the inform, specifically is up near almost 200,000 coins. What is he? 194, 197. Um, that's a Team of the Week 4 card that had a lot of supply. I know the Insigne SPC is out. I'm being very careful with that. But even his gold card was like 25K earlier. The buys on these gold cards, the best time to buy these was actually earlier, right? And I was, I wondered about this. We were talking about it on stream. The best time to buy these cards was absolutely um, right after content at 6 p.m. on Wednesday. Because as we always say on Wednesdays, the market does drop off a little bit. That is exactly what happened yesterday. Um, but still, you saw people actually go out and buy stuff because they were expecting the market and they were hoping for a market rise. I'm going to snag that Varan at 167 with a shadow uh, because I think that could be a pretty decent flip. But again, it just right now it's kind of, I wouldn't say it's tough sailing on the market at the moment, but it's just a lot of people have invested. And if you remember last week, people made a bunch of coins last week on Thursday. So that has increased the hype for this week on Thursday for a market rise post reward. So just be careful with overinvestment. There might be some interesting movements with all these people buying cards on the market. There could be some interesting movements on Thursday and some more actual, I guess, undercuts, you could say, heading into the content drop today on Thursday because people will be worried about marquee matchup supply. So keep an eye out for that um, on the cards that are in packs, the Adidas cards, the golds. Now you can absolutely... You can absolutely look for out of packs items. I was, right now, I'm kind of scrolling uh, through Footbin at the moment. One guy I want you to keep your eye on 
because of this Insigne hype. He was just down at 145, and now it looks like he's up at 154. That might have been a flip and undercut on the 140. Uh, but this Immobile card, ooh, 145, is that sitting? Oh, that is sitting. All right. Uh, let's see if we can get a little undercut on that because it looks like that's literally a 10K undercut. I'm just going to snag that. Uh, and hopefully this goes up a little bit after rewards because Immobile is a striker, one of the most, I would say, higher rated and popular Serie A strikers in this game at the moment. So we're going to keep an eye on that. Just just keep an eye on some of these cards. He's also really, really rare. The out of packs ones that you see open bids on drops in price. That's why I was looking at this Cordoba. Totally missed that one with the shadow at 426. That was crazy, crazy cheap. Uh, but this Mane, I'll pay 130 with 100 chem style. Bring it in. And then this Cordoba, I'll even pay up to 450 for. Um, I'm just going to have to look at bids. And this is what I would advise you to do as well. Bids or snipes right around the content drop. Uh, I'm going to be stingy, not go over 130. Uh, not around the content drop, but around the rewards drop today. Keep an eye on that because there could be some opportunities still to snag a couple of these cards. But just be careful, right? I feel like a lot of people are buying them up. And when it's a lot of investors doing their thing, um, you know, we don't, we don't like overinvestment. We don't like overinvestment because that usually, um, prohibits a, a nice market rise. Now, one thing we are expecting today as part of the content would be Bundesliga, uh, player of the month, Jugador del Mes, the Am Abstumung East Bent. I cannot speak German very well at all. That was terrible. I, I butchered that. Uh, but Nkunku, Lewandowski, Muller, those are the top three cards for who could be in as the, um, player of the month today. I would expect that SBC to be, I think they released the, the words SBC was, was early. I forget when it was, but watch out for Bundesliga player of the month today. That makes me think of SBC fodder. You know, fodder might go up a little bit in the content drop today. I mean, if you actually look at these cards, they're usually cheapest around content. Cruz is 26,000 coins right now. He was 23K yesterday on Wednesday, right around the content drop. If there is no big SBC, if like Muller, Cruz, and Kunku is not very good value, if it's overpriced or the card does not look that juiced, uh, fodder might get cheap with marquee matchups again, and that could potentially be a time to snag some of this stuff if it's not going to be a promo Friday. So just keep an eye on SBC fodder on bids, especially if you're awake during rewards on bids. I would really, really, really... Uh, watch some of that. And hopefully we get a little bit of a market rise today. I mean, it'd be kind of boring if we had nothing, right? So hopefully a few cards rise up today. Uh, I'm going to try to find some deals late night tonight. Cordoba went for 456. I mean, I should, probably should have bid on that as well. M maybe take a look around at a couple other heroes because these undercuts are getting really cheap uh, on these cards. That's a first owner tradable Cordoba. So I'm going to keep an eye on some of this stuff as we head into uh, the nighttime, the brand new team of the week as well. There's not a lot of supply that really comes in with Rivals Rewards, as we've talked about. So just keep an eye out for that. Uh, a quick little trading update on my account. I did buy the Mateus. If, if you guys uh, were on the stream uh, yesterday, we bought this Mateus at 2.15. or was hoping to get like 235 or 239. But I got lucky with an overnight sale at 2.3 because I'm pretty sure this Mateus now uh, is actually down at like, he was 2.1 yesterday. So that was a good flip. I mean, it was only about 45k profit, I believe. After tax, it was somewhere around there 2.12. Like look at that, man. And then there's overnights at 228. Uh, you know, open bids at 2.085. Like that's crazy low on this Mateus. Um, so I, I feel like I got a little bit lucky with that, but that's the power of fresh because that Mateus was fresh. And you've also seen a lot of these. I just want to speak on this a little bit. The Mbappe team of the week has actually corrected a lot of these higher tier icons. Uh, for for a little bit on this market is Mbappe's three and a half million coins. Way, way, way too expensive for this card, in my opinion. For the small upgrade, no dynamic image, it's crazy. The supply on this team of the week right now, there's like nothing. Um, until we get to Friday, if there's any lightning rounds or, you know, this the, the supply on this team of the week is looking very, very slim. So I'm very curious to see how these cards move on the market. But that's why Mbappe is stupid expensive at the moment. Um, and... Yeah, I just think that card's very overpriced and I think it is going to come down. But that was kind of why yesterday, again, it's been a very, very quiet week on this game. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of update you on the transfer list there. A lot of small flips in here, right? Two, three, four thousand coins per card. Chemistry style flips. That's going to be a great way to trade today with these Odidas cards. 
position change, chem style flips, it's gonna be a great place to make some quick coins uh, on the market today. I, have, I still have some striker Devi Alleys I'm trying to get out that I bought those around like 30,000 coins. He's probably down a bit heading into rewards, but that'll be a place to trade today because there will be gameplay demand. So I do think it's probably not gonna be an insane day of content today on Thursday, probably just marquee matchups, maybe a loading screen. I guess today would be our other day to watch out for a loading screen. We will see. But as it is right now, no panic selling, maybe a slight market rise. We will see what EA has planned. And we still don't know what's going to happen tomorrow on Friday for this promo. So we're living in a land of unknown right now at the moment. But if you guys are enjoying the videos on the channel, make sure you hit a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions about the market or anything FIFA related right now in this game. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.